here we got it. Old 1920s radio. Greeby CR9. Got some good light now. As good as this camera can do. That's that light. Yeah, the light. Let go of the light. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's all there is, huh? Here. Let me get this light then. Oh, no, that's alright. I want to get the light to see if I can get readable text on it. Has a hard time seeing this small stuff. Second stage. First stage. Detector and the external detector. I think these are just taps where you can tap in with your headphones and start out by tuning the first section and then adjusting the second section or something. I need to read the documentation a little bit more. You can get what he sees off. Current is schematic, it's uh, adjust the amount of current to the tubes filament. wavelength control and that's a condenser and that fine fine adjustment for the for the condenser and then this turns the transformer variometer or whatever turn on ground gotta get about here to see that I actually read it Open up the lid. Oh, it's got the little manual tag for Armstrong licensing. You can read it. They shine the light a little bit this way, Pop. Trying to find the right the spot to get. You're gonna be able to read it. And it says licensed under Armstrong patent number one million one hundred and thirteen. Four, one, four, eight, or something. October six, comma nineteen fourteen. Thank the cabinet's original. Need more cord on the movie light. Got the condenser. Tapped inductor. Variable transformer. Turn that knob, pop. Turn that knob slowly back and forth. Because that seems to be working okay. It's rotating the coil. No telling if the wires are connected still. And the transformer can be rotated, rotated 90 degrees in the magnetic direction. It would go 90 degrees. Not seen too much in radios after the 20s. What application they use variable transformers like this for? Now, I don't know. Got three tubes, O ones, three O ones are in it. Sockets are loose. According to what I read, is that the guy made all of his own components, so there won't be any like socket factory sockets, or he did it all. It's machined, and it it was originally probably just press fitted, but now it's loose. You put the tube in there, and it pops up the socket. That one's still good. The first one's still good. The second one and third one are loose. Get the light, what the, what's on the tubes. Let's see the labels. A C, clef almost looking thing. Now I haven't done anything yet. It's, fr it's attic fresh, although I've had it for maybe a couple of years, but it was fairly attic fresh. I haven't like tried to power it up or even take it apart. So we're going to have to take it apart. There's no sense in letting the smoke out of it. You gotta see if there's like a rat chew or something and correct it before you apply power. So it looks like it's simply got a couple of screws in the front in this bakelite. And then the whole thing will like tip down and I'll drop it on this bubble wrap gently and hopefully nothing will break. 